Hey, this is Kev with Blender Binge, back with another video. This time we're going to be creating a cloth logo reveal. It's something you can use for your own channels or, or your own logos or clients or whatever you want. It's totally cool. So let's just jump right in. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create something for the logo to be on. So I'm going to hit Add, Mesh, Plane. In this case, we're just going to use a flat plane. This is, this is cool for this video. So I'm going to hit the size 10. Next, let's make the cloth. So I'm going to go Add, Mesh, Grid. The grid, we're going to use about 50 subdivisions initially, and the size will be about 15. Okay, then I'm going to go and I'm going to take this guy, lift him up. I can use this little thing here, go to item. I can use rotation about 45 degrees. And I'm going to drop the cloth onto this object, so I just kind of want it to be a little uneven when I drop it. So now what I'll do is I'm going to set up the physics. So to do that, I'm going to go to the little physics tab here. And for the logo, okay, which is plain, let's just call it logo. And the grid, we'll call that cloth, so that makes this easier for you guys to follow along with. All right, so for the for the logo, I'm gonna hit collision, and for the cloth, I'm gonna act, hit cloth, okay. who thought? So, cloth, I'm gonna say, this little icon here, let's have three sets, I'm gonna say cotton, and I'm going to hit play. And what that does is it just drops our cloth onto the logo, and once it reaches a point where it's kind of settling, that's kind of cool right there, I'm going to just go ahead, go to modifiers, and I'm gonna hit apply for cloth. And now we can start where this cloth is. So now we just want a, a place where we can pull the cloth from, okay? Like grabbing, taking your hands, like pulling the cloth off the table. So what we'll do is I'm gonna hit tab. I'm gonna select one point, like right about there. That's pretty good and I'm gonna hit control G to make a group. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna use this in a little bit. Hit tab and we're done. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create something to pull the object with. This is optional. Okay, I'm gonna go add empty plane axes, axis, axis, blah, axes. I'm gonna go over here, pull this about here, and I'm going to parent this cloth object to the empty. So to do that, I'm gonna hit cloth, shift select, hit empty, Control P on the keyboard, hit object. Now, the empty, if you move the empty, it moves the cloth, right? Cool. So what we'll do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to keyframe this. So I've decided about frame 44, I'm gonna start the animation. So for that, with the empty selected, I'm gonna go to location, right click and hit insert keyframes. Then at frame 96, I'm going to pull this guy out to about here, right click, insert keyframes, done. So now the animation plays, starts, pulls the cloth, done. So now let's make this cloth. This is where we make the real cloth object. To do that, I go back to physics and I hit da -da, cloth. And this time I'm going to say, yeah, I'll say cotton again. That changes the settings, gives me something to work with. I'm going to push the air viscosity up to about 10. That just makes it the air a little thicker. So this is gonna move a little bit, little bit nicer for this particular animation. And then I'm going to go to shape, and here's where we take our pull point. So I'm going to say pin group. This is the group we just created. Choose group there. So now if I hit play, you're going to see it's going to start pulling. It's going to pull it, and there it goes. Nice. And that air viscosity just makes it slower, but by the time it hits here, it doesn't matter. It's like off the frame already. So now all that's left to see is the quality of our animation, right? So you see here, this is pulling through the table. We don't like that. So what I'll do is I'll select this guy. Okay, we're gonna go to collisions and we're gonna set two things. First, I'm gonna turn on self collisions and then quality, I'm gonna to change to about 14. And now it'll play a little bit slower. I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna play it. It'll cash out and then you see the result. Okay, so I've gone ahead and uh, changed this to uh, quality 24 and pull this guy out a little bit. And you can see now that it doesn't go through the table and it in fact just does what we want it to do. Right? And I don't care about when it gets, once it passes the table, I really don't care. That's out of the frame. So next thing I'll do is I'll just smooth this out. So I'll just go to object, shade smooth. And one last thing I can do here too is add modifier. So after the cloth, I can just go ahead and add a subdivision surface modifier to that. It smooths it out. And then you just want viewport and render to match. And that's probably pretty good. So we can go ahead now and save the scene and we can cache out the animation. So that'll cache out the simulation and it'll save it and we'll be able to play it back and forth as we want. So to do that, 
we simply go back over to the physics tab and we go to cache and we say, I like to say disk cache and then start simulation. I don't have to bake the whole thing, okay? My entire animation, you don't need to do that. So just go where it starts. So it starts at 44 and it ends, for us it's out of the camera by 96. So I'm just gonna say 96, that's all we really need. You don't have to kill the computer for stuff you don't need. So then go ahead and hit bake and we'll come back once it's baked. Okay, so we baked it and you can see now it's pretty decent looking. Although, it's still, see, at 96, so probably going to have to go a little bit more. So I'm going to say I'll bake it till about 144 frames. So I'm going to come back and do that now. And we're back. So all I did for that, for that step to just redo the bake was I just hit delete bake and then change this to 144. So not a, not a big deal. And now you can see that it pulls off the table. It looks decent. And we're going to go with this for now. Now in yours, you can feel free to like do all this different stuff and, and change the look and feel of this. It's totally cool. I'm just going to, you know, I, I want this video to end at some point. So what we're going to do now is position the camera. So I'm going to take the camera. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to zero out the location and the rotation. So to do that, keyboard shortcuts, Alt G and Alt R. And now if I pull it up, it's staring directly down on my scene. So if I hit zero, there it is looking at my scene. So I can pull it up a little bit more, kind of go to the edges of the table, and that's kind of cool. If I hit play now, you'll see it's going to play, it's going to go out, and there we go. Nice. All right. So let's just give it the shading and, uh, and do some little animation and we're done. So I'm going to hit this little tab here to go to rendered, and I'm going to call up another little window here, and then I'm going to say shader editor. I'm going to select my logo and I'm going to call in a logo. So I'd saved a logo that you're all pretty familiar with. So I'm going to load it in now and show you. So I'm going to hit new. Okay. And for this, uh, I'm simply just going to, just going to um, hit add. I'm going to go to texture. I'm going to say image texture, plug in color to base. And then I'm going to add input texture coordinate. And I'm going to go uh, from UV to vector. I'm going to hit open and pull in an image that I saved before. Okay, so there's the logo that you're pretty much all familiar with. I think what I can do here is just turn the roughness all the way up. I don't need it to be reflective. Probably pretty good. I can hit add. I'll go to light. And there's a cool little uh, add-on that you can enable for three-point lights. Okay. Okay, that three point lighting thing is under preferences, lighting, tri lighting. So you just turn that on. And while you're here, there's another thing that you want to turn on called Node Wrangler. Okay, that lets you do this setup by hitting Control T really quickly. Uh, I'm not going to do that too much here, but just you'll want that on. For a lot of videos, use this, so turn that on. Okay, so now what we can do is we have that set up, and I can look at my cloth, and I can give my cloth a setting too. So cloth, hit new. Now this has a a shader, turn up the roughness, turn up the sheen, and now we'll just add lights. So I'll go back to my logo, I'll hit add, light, three point lights. And what I can do here is go to each light, okay, it calls in all these lights. And let me go here and turn these lights up. So like 150, that's nice. Uh, size, they, they give these really tiny sizes. I don't like that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn that up. It softens the shadows too and it looks a bit nicer. Play around, whatever. And there we got a nice flat white thing. And then all of a sudden the cloth starts, starts wrinkling, pulls off and there. And then we can just change some of these things here. Um, so let's say we could go, we can just change uh, our render settings. So I can turn on uh, motion blur. If I want ambient occlusion, I don't know if it's going to do much in this case. Shadows here, I can turn on soft shadows and high bit depth if, you're, if your graphics card handles it. And it's just going to make it a little bit nicer when it pulls. And there we go. So now we can just render it out to do that. I'm just going to go over here to the little render tab, output, so in my case, I made a folder for cloth logo reveal. So I just name it cloth reveal dot MP4, hit accept. And then over here under file format, FFmpeg, over here on encoding, just go to H264 for this. And that should be good. 
then go to render, render animation, and go get coffee and we'll wait. And I'm pausing the video until we're back. And here we go. All right, so it's quick, quick, dirty. You can certainly go ahead and, and add a lot more detail in there if you want. And uh, here is one where we, I went ahead and, and animated the camera and it looks a little bit better. So go on, do your own, make your own. If you wanna do this, this effect, uh, that's pretty much how you do it. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.